In today's video, we're gonna see if it's possible to create a habitable planet that is as big as the sun. All right, so we got a blank simulation here, and the first step is going to be to add a star. Now, if we add the sun, then our planet will be the same size, so that's not gonna work too well. So let's add a bigger star. Let's add Betelgeuse here. So Betelgeuse is a very massive star. All right, so now that we got our star Betelgeuse, we're gonna try a random rocky planet, and I'm actually gonna turn on the habitable view. So if here's our rings here, we're gonna wanna put it in the green. We got our planet here called Occur. Right now, it is only 1.26 times the radius of the Earth. So it's just slightly bigger than the Earth is. So that's not gonna be big enough. We're gonna need this a lot bigger. So if we just try to make the radius here, this is how big it actually is. If we just type one sun, it turns into a star because the density is so strong that the gravity explodes in on itself. So that's not gonna work. So let's delete that and let's put a new planet in here. Um, I like the way that one looks. So let's use this one. And I think that if we turn the density down, it should allow us to make it very, very large. So if we actually make it so what we can actually do is find a good density. And if we lock the density like here, then when we turn the radius up, it'll change the mass too. So it should stay at a good density where it's not gonna... Okay, so it went to a gas giant. So that means it's not light enough. So the density, if we just make this like ridiculously not dense and... Oh, oh, we did it. Okay, so right now this planet is 4.43 times the radius of the sun. So if we pull up the sun here, we can see it worked. Oh, okay, something just happened. It just collapsed in on itself. Let's try it again. And because the planet's gonna be so light anyway, I'm gonna actually try to use the sun to see if we can get a planet that looks very massive in its system. Okay, so we got another planet here. Put the radius very small. Small can I do it? And then if we go to solar radius and then put one, and that didn't work. I locked its radius on one sun, so it will not change its size. And then I simply just made it less and less dense until it turned into a planet. And this actually looks pretty good here already. We check the stats. We got a 6% Earth similarity, so that's not great. So its orbitable period is about a year, which is what we want. And our rotational period, we're gonna want this a lot faster. So let's put it at one day. Oh, okay. So apparently it's can't spin that fast or it shoots off stuff so we're not gonna be able to make it spin that fast let's try it again so I guess because it's so big when it spins that fast it shoots mass off of the surface because of the, the force the spinning force so we're actually gonna want to change our rotational period right now let's put it at one year just so it's tidally locked which will make it not spin at all so now what we can do is go back to the overview and we can lock if we pause time so it doesn't change it right away we type one s for one sun and you can see it did turn into a star but if we lock the radius then turn our density by times 0.1. So that turned it into a gas giant, but we want it even less dense, so it'll go to a rocky planet like this. So now we do have a rocky planet here. I'm worried that this is gonna not be stable when I unpause it. Okay, so it looks like it's not gonna just die. So I wonder how fast we can spin it without it shooting off fragments. Okay, 2.5, I'm just gonna leave it there because once I went faster than that last time, it completely broke apart. So if we go to surface now, we can see that the hottest it's getting is 273. That's absolute zero. So let's change this to 30 just to see what happened there. One spot of it heated up. So it looks like now half of it is 335 Celsius and half of it is negative 273. So if I heat it up, it only heats up one side of it? What is this pattern? I'm wondering if it's so big that the game doesn't know how to heat it all up evenly. So we want the average temperature to be around 25. But the problem is up here, you can see on this graph that half of the planet is still very, very cold, which it also has no land masses. So we can actually change that because of the newest update. We can go to generate an elevation here and click edit visuals and we can, we can change it. But I think, is it still a gas giant? Is that what it is? Um, it's heating up. Oh, it's gonna shoot fragments. 
Okay, so now it's definitely a gas giant. Oh my goodness, what did we do? This looks like the Death Star. I've never seen anything like this. And that is definitely a smiley face telling us we've done something very wrong. I actually want to save this object in this state to see if we can, let's name it Death Star. That is insane. Okay, okay, let's check out. I have no idea what, how to, okay, let's try stabilize temperature. Oh, that actually worked fairly decently. I mean, it's very cold at the poles, but we're going to ignore that for now. I kind of like the way it looks. So let's see if we can get it habitable now. If we go to, I want to get a elevation map on here. So we can steal it from Mercury or anything. Let's get it like about there. And I'm not even sure what happened here. I'm gonna try to switch the colors on it. So it does have an atmosphere right now, but I'm not, it's gonna need to be about one bar uh, and then we can actually make it so it's not so thick. Let's do the water. Where's the water sea level? Okay, so now we can get some water on the surface. You can kind of see it. Let's turn off the atmosphere. So we got water on the surface. We want it mostly water, so let's do probably about there. Then I don't like how all of the land is just white, so I'm gonna try to fix that. So it somehow defaulted to white, gray, and black for the colors, so we're gonna just switch that and we can do... With the new update, we can actually add vegetation. Oh my goodness! See, look, vegetation, if habitable. Grow, if habitable, map. Or we could do, I mean, Earth, but we're just going to do full. That means that this planet must be habitable. Yeah. So we got 10% Earth similarity and uh, somehow we got 4.9 E to the negative fifth power, which is this number of percent life likelihood. So there's not a very high chance yet. So let's try to see if we can increase it. I want to set these to more of like brownish tones because we actually have the vegetation now. So what we can do now, try to heat it up a little bit more. Um, I'm going to add more atmosphere layers, which can help with how much your planets get heated. Let's try seven. If we just speed up time, we'll see what happens. So this average temperature is rising, which is good. So it looks like it's getting too hot. Try two. Oh my goodness, just two. Okay, so it looks like it's slowing down, so it'll probably stop around 35. So this should help with our habitability. Uh, went up to 10.2 or similarity and 4.75. Is that the same that it was? The problem is it's just so massive that it can't be that similar to Earth, but we did get habitability. Let's turn back on our atmosphere. And so it's got a very thick atmosphere. Let's pause it and put the sun next to it. We can see that it really is the size of the sun. That's insane. And it is orbiting the sun. So you can zoom out here. Let's actually put Earth as one of its moons, put it a decent amount away. But here is Earth and here's our planet. Let's name it something good. Big boy planet here, which is, he's doing great. And we got Earth as its moon and I actually wanna put the moon in orbit around the Earth too. So now we got a little system going on here. If we turn on orbits, we can see that we got big boy planet and then we got the Earth orbiting that and then the moon orbiting that and it's all orbiting the sun. And if we speed up time, we can see the system in motion and the Earth looks like it's lost orbit. So I guess that didn't work very well but they are both orbiting the sun. So it is possible to create a habitable planet that is the size of the sun. It is just very hard to do. I'm going to save this object. And if you use the link in the description, you can download it to put in your systems. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like the video as it really helps out the channel. And if you wanna see more of my content, subscribe and I do weekly uploads. Thanks for watching, see ya.